What is the pendulum of loss, change, and grief? Welcome to Saying Yes with Dr. No on the journey with love. We're saying yes today to taking a deeper dive into what is the pendulum of loss, change, and grief. Because when we lose something, that's the relationship that has been lost. And if the relationship is casual and you're not really attached in the heart to that particular relationship, then the pendulum of grief, loss, and change is not so big because you were only committed, you were only connected that much. It's the relationship. It's because we have had an experience of a commitment. We have linked, we have connected at a deep level. So when we lose something, when we lose a pet, and someone says, oh, let's just get you another pet, another dog, another cat, another bird, another fish. That fish that is replacing the fish that comes in the little bag, in the goldfish bag, and you say, okay, here's another fish. This way you won't be so sad. It's not the idea of a fish. It's the idea of the relationship that I had with that fish. And I know I'm talking about a little goldfish, but we can become attached to a goldfish that we feed every day and that comes up against the glass and says, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and I think it's you know, wonderful that we can make fun of and we can mimic our pets and we can laugh with them and we can, we can connect with them at a deep core level. So when someone says, oh, she's only lost her dog, she's only lost her pet, he's only lost his parakeet, the pendulum of grief and loss and change swings in direct proportion to the depth of the relationship. It's not our place to judge the quality of the loss or the quality of the grief or the quality of the change because even something that's positive can still have an attachment to what was left behind that was profound. And it is my hope that we learn enough about change, loss, and grief so that we do not judge others harshly and that we don't judge ourselves. There is no one rule for any situation. I think the best thing we can do is wish people love and light and say things to them like, I can't imagine what you're going through, but I'd like to listen. I'd like to know what's happening. How are you feeling? And then you might be invited into a conversation that shows you their pendulum of loss, change, and grief. Many blessings to you. Thank you for being on the journey with love. And the journey with love does contain change, grief, and loss because it's part of our experience as spiritual beings having a human existence.